What a day. Professor Watt was his usual miserable self, and that test was a killer. Hopefully I can just relax and... Of course, Liam didn't do the laundry or clean. I'll have to do a load of laundry. I have an interview for a job tomorrow and have nothing to wear. And I, my life is so terrible! Headline reads, Womb Ripper strikes again. <laughs> Source indicated that the woman was indeed pregnant, and just like the previous victims, the fetus was cut out and assumed to be taken by the assailant. Now, the fourth victim in as many weeks, and Thoria is struggling to come up with leads in one of the most gruesome crime sprees the city has ever endured. Did you hear that, you disgusting junkie? The womb ripper is back on the prowl. Hi there. Are you okay? Can I get you anything? Drugs! You just can't trust junkies nowadays. Well, my laundry machine's broken, and uh, I kind of need fresh clothes for that job interview tomorrow. So, uh, taking a bus to the laundromat. You're just gonna stand? Okay. Got a staring problem, cunt? So that's what getting molested on a bus feels like. Hello. Yes, what is it? Yeah, do your uh, laundry machines wash out cum stains? Fresh batch of clothes, please. Well, while I wait, might as well wash some tunes. Not gonna lie, but uh, a lot of these channels fucking suck. Like, what is this? I wonder if they got Netflix. Oh yeah, now I realize why I don't watch Netflix. Ben? Yes. I think that pedophile on the bus got a kid this time. You know, I think we'll just stay in the uh, the laundromat for uh, for the time being. You know, I think it's kind of bullshit. They gotta pay for both drying and washing, but, uh, whatever. Not glad I've been holding in this fucking piss since the bus ride here. I gotta fucking go. Yeah, I can come back later. You know, I think the woman's restroom is more my style. You know, a bit more, a bit more cleaner. You know, a bit more, less naked people behind dolls. Ah, one of those sex hotlines. May have to give a call. <laughs> Hey, bro, do not use the hand dryers. They sound like a fucking black hole. You know, I've never done a sex hotline before. Hopefully it's a cute girl. Hello and welcome to the mental health hotline. The fuck? If you are a well, guess I gotta use you to make me hard. You know, I think this guy can actually help me with that problem. Just gotta find the glory hole. Okay, my fucking clothes should be dried by now. Huh? These clothes are so wet. What? I put money in this thing. What? Nah, where's the fucker behind the counter? Hey, buddy. Get your minimum wage ass out here! Think you can fucking scam me? Nah, you fuck with the wrong fucker. Where the fuck are you? Oh my god! It's the employee! He's been ripped to shreds! I need to call the police! Yeah, hello! I'm out of line right now! I just got fucking scammed! My fucking clothes didn't dry! Look at the outrage! No one is getting their clothes cleaned or dried! Look what the big laundromat companies have caused the people to resort to! We just want our clothes ready for the next day, damn it! We never wanted to do this! Now we must dirty the clothes of others to now boycott Big Laundro. If we all wear dirty clothes together, then Big Laundro will have to fix their washing and drying machines. Fuck, the door's locked! You can't stop us, Big Laundro! They can't even bother to clean the spaghetti off their floors. There. It's time to stop Big Laundro. Damn it, the door's locked. It needs a key. Well, if I had to hide a key anywhere, I would definitely put it inside the stomach of this dead person. Doinks. Yeah. Are those babies? Ooh, a gun. Okay, guys. Call me crazy. But I got a theory. Earlier, those two fellas, right? It looked like they were protesting, but if you look closer, one of them wasn't wearing clothes. Why were they wearing clothes? Because they didn't want to dirty them. I mean, they work for Big Laundro, and a friend of them, an enemy of mine. Come out, you asshole! I'm ready for you. Don't you feel anything? All the lives you made inconvenient with your shitty dryers and washers. The people have had enough. 
We won't let corporations like you exploit the working man. Do you know how long people wash and dry their clothes without washing and drying machines? Thousands of years. We would put them in buckets and put them on fucking rope and shit to dry it out. But you just think that with the invention of your drying washing machines, we'll forget all about the history of it. Boom! Headshot, fucker! You know, now that I actually think about it, this may be the womb ripper. You know, I did see that corpse on the way, and, you know, I thought, oh, a dead lady, this must be some big company ritual activities, but her baby wasn't even sticking out of her. But I really think that the fetuses in the washing machines were the dead giveaway here, if I'm being honest. Should have really noticed that beforehand. Well, my clothes are still dirty and wet, and I still got that job interview tomorrow. Uh, I'll have to come in naked tomorrow, and if they don't give me the job, I'll say they're discriminating against uh, people that can't afford clothes or something dumb like that. It could work in today's America. Who knows? Oh, fuck me. Big Lonjo ain't got shit on me. I ain't using those machines to clean. My clothes may be filthy, maybe even bloody, but I would still give you the finger and say, fuck you, buddy. Arms a hammer, oxy cling, Kirk Glenn, it's a scam. A facade, if I see you supporting them, I'll make you eat a damn tie pod. What the hell's a man that seals wombs even have to do with launching machines? Wait a second, if he, he probably seals them because he himself can't conceive.